this put forth by all the parties? Yeah, well, let me start with uh, the, uh, the candidates uh, put forth by the DNA and the candidates that will be forthcoming. Uh, <coughs> there's really a cross-section of uh, society, um, range, range from CEOs of companies, entrepreneurs, business persons, uh, teachers, unionists, um, uh, doctors. We have very few lawyers, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> I'm just one out of probably two or three. Three. Uh, three. Um, um, from taxi drivers. So it's a cross section of okay. persons, and that was the idea uh, okay. to represent the people of the Bahamas. You know, we're not all lawyers, for instance. We're not all. So the caliber, doctors. the caliber of people put forward by the PLP and the FNM and the DNA. What is your opinion? Uh, I think the DNA represents uh, the behavior of people, mm -hmm. the, I, the I, candidates. Mm -hmm. The candidates represent the behavior of people. Uh, I've seen and I've read the the new candidates and the um, young candidates. I notice that both parties are using this word "young" and "fresh faces" and and the like, and that's very good, very interesting. It it it, it all stems from the DNA. Uh, but you know, let me just say it. It is good to see young people come forward, no matter what. Um, party they're vying for uh, to help move the country forward um, and, and persons putting themselves out there. So that, that's encouraging. That's encouraging to see that. Um, I don't really know the, the many of the new faces, uh, so I really can't comment on the caliber, uh, but I have no doubt. I have no doubt that, and I hope that they are of good caliber. I hope they are. My, my question to you is, do you think the DNA has a lot of silent supporters? Well, we do find that there are a lot of persons uh, who are reluctant to speak as well because of the fear of victimization. And we've said this before. Uh, persons are afraid for their jobs, uh, which is a sad, sad thing in the Bahamas. I thought we were gotten away from that, but obviously that still exists. Um, but, you know, from what we see, we... we have quite a bit of support. I, let me tell you, um, last week we were at Anderson and the support there was tremendous. Go on Facebook and you'll see it, pictures don't lie. Last night we won Baines and Grantstown and the support there was out of the ordinary. I, I, I was most, um, most impressed to see what was out there last night. Do you think um, and being a former FNL member, who do you think they will select? And <laughs> who, or do you think there is a better alternative to Mr. Um uh, I don't know who they would think. Uh, the question would be, who does Mr. Bra Mr. Ingram want? <laughs> That's how it works in that party. <laughs> But uh, I noticed the party, and I noticed that the Prime Minister stated that, you know, he wants new and fresh faces, and that's the only way the country can move forward. Uh, but he's reluctant to step down. He's been in Parliament longer than anybody else. And I find it strange that he's bringing on and telling persons in his party who's been in Parliament less time than he's been there, uh, that their time is up uh, because they've been there too long. That's an oxymoron for me. I don't understand that.